It's night time of year. Temperatures are high and mosquitoes are more active. The insects are more than just a nuisance. They can also spread disease. Cases of West Nile are on the rise across the country. Earlier this week, an adult living in Baltimore was confirmed to have the first human case of West Nile in Maryland this year. Most infections are mild, but about a thousand people are hospitalized with a severe form of the disease every year. Our Simone D'Alba has more on what you need to know about the virus. In the U.S., West Nile activity struck earlier than usual, and more cases of the mosquito-borne illness are expected to come, with the bulk of cases typically reported in August and September. So usually the mosquito will bite an infected bird, uh, will acquire the virus, it stays in their belly, and when they bite you, that's when it can be transmitted to humans. Dr. Lisette Cardona with Cleveland Clinic says the disease is rare. So far this year, there have been 289 reported human cases of West Nile virus in 33 U.S. states. 195 of those infections were the more severe form of the disease, which invades the brain and nervous system. That form can lead to brain swelling, brain damage, even death. But most cases are mild. Symptoms can include fever, headache, body aches, vomiting, diarrhea, or rash. Since there are no vaccines or medicines for West Nile, the CDC says the best way to prevent the virus is to protect against mosquito bites. Use EPA-registered insect repellents. Wear loose-fitting, long sleeve shirts and pants. Treat clothing and gear with permethrin and take steps to control mosquitoes by doing things like getting rid of standing water on your property. Although there is no treatment, we can give supportive attention if you need fluids, be observed and monitored closely in a healthcare facility if needed. Simone D'Alba, WUSA 9.